Well, Vanessa, originally the ordinance that was proposed by Councilmember Vinny Palermo would give a special epidemic health director um, the ability to manage an epidemic. Now, that's now scrapped. What this ordinance does is it still gives the health director the authority to take some action, but instead it now gives more power to the executive and legislative branches. Almost all of us have worn masks at some point during this pandemic. The question before council, should the health director for the city of Omaha be able to mandate mask wearing or other health measures on their own in a pandemic? Council member Vinny Palermo believes that power shouldn't rest with just one person. Instead, the health director should reach out to the professionals in their office and the community to help make that tough decision. Should the time come that we need to respond quickly to a public health crisis, that we're just able to move through whatever that process is very quickly and ensure that we are not causing further harm to the residents of Omaha who need our protection. So those remain my biggest concerns. The state sued the current Douglas County Health Director, Dr. Lindsay Hughes, after she imposed a mask mandate in January. That lawsuit is still in the courts. The state argues it should make the final decision. Palermo believes the health director should be able to recommend an action, but that the mayor and council should have the final say. A protester outside the meeting isn't signing on. They can still overrule what she has to say. They're taking her power away. So if they don't have the expertise, that's, that's really what it's about. Ultimately, this is to try to help resolve the lawsuit that's pending. If we don't resolve this lawsuit, and I believe this will help to do that, then we're gonna lose control of the city of Omaha and uh, health decisions that are made here locally by us. I'm not convinced what we're doing today does satisfy any particular lawsuit we have um, right now against the city, um, nor do I think we should be making decisions based on those lawsuits. Um, so that, to me, isn't a convincing reason to approve this yet today. Now that motion did pass tonight with council members Festerson and Johnson voting no. Live in Omaha, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.